Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we explore the non inventorized invoice for a vendor for financial operation. We can register invoice which is non, uh, non inventory based or non PO based invoice. So, for this, Dynam Microsoft provide workspace. If you go on a dashboard, uh, these are all a vendor invoice entry workspace. Uh, here are different options to record invoice invite invoice directly for a vendor uh, one option is that we create a new invoice from uh, from this workspace other option is we can go we can create a vendor invoice from account payable and then invoices and go on open invoices uh, and create a new invoice and vendor invoice Suppose, uh, suppose current scenario: vendor sent us uh, invoice for some kind of rent. The rent. So for this, we we are recording invoice, vendor invoice for rent. So first of all, we have to select for a vendor or go for an invoice account for a vendor account, and then we have to set some invoice identification for demo one 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 one. Uh, some kind of we enter rent stock rent invoice uh, we can uh, select purchase order but uh, here purchase order is not required then we go on a, a line level add line and instead select item we go to procurement category you already in your knowledge that accounts are set with respect to uh, with respect to procurement category and for current example I'm going to post this uh, I'm going to post uh, invoice in in procurement category and for this I am using a rent expense uh, procurement category and I add its quantity is equal to one and uh, or oh, unit price is uh, uh, unit price 100 USD. Here are some other options are also available where you can add some markup charges. Uh, for this, I have to go on a financials and going to add as maintain charges. And so I'm going to add handling charges for. Ten dollar, ten USD dollar, and save. And uh, when we go to, and we can also check that which account is in inventory transaction will be hit. So for this accounting and distribution amount, here we can see that uh, this account will be, uh, this account will be hit. And for we can also split set uh, default form forms reported receipt quantity uh, this option is fine and later there is no match product receipt because nothing is received we are just posting something again posting advice against some um, services or something like that we have to uh, click on update match status and match status is passed and now we can post this transaction a new invoice is successfully posted and a uh, vendor number is 4234 and vice number is demo 101 uh, this invoice is successfully posted if we go to account payable and all vendors and if we see the vendor uh, against we post the invoice if we click on that vendor and then go to transaction and then invoices see that a new invoice demo 101 is posted against that vendor and this is invoice journal and this is the amount and if we go uh, and this is uh, there is no purchase order associated with this invoice and if we go on a view distribution we found that hundred dollar posted against uh, this account and 10 uh, USD for charges handling is posted against this account and so this is the quick overview of non PO based or non inventory based uh, invoice for a vendor. We can record it by two ways. Either we have to uh, 
record create a new invoice from a vendor invoice entry a new vendor invoice so either we have to go on, on account payable and then invoices and open vendor invoice thank you for watching this video see you in next video thanks thanks for watching